We now return to Let's Play Cities Skylines in the ever-present rain. Okay, so uh, there are a few things I want to do. First of all, let's look at this demand. And I do actually kind of want to deal with getting some more people in here. Now, I think we're probably safe to go along this edge because I would eventually like to, at the very least, push back some of that industry and just keep this again as kind of like a... a uh, soundproofing zone. Kick that out of there so I can use this. And I'm not sure if I actually want housing here. I'm imagining this whole block will be some commercial and so maybe I'll have that come up here just a little bit. Just have something there. I don't know. Uh, we'll keep that corner clear anyhow, which means I can probably knock that out so I can utilize this a little bit better. That probably means I'm going to have to put back in a power line again. Okay, you know what? Let's run it for a little bit. There we go. Okay, uh, now that connected and I totally don't need this. So, refund. Uh, but this, however, does need something. So we'll just go all the way down here since I'm not going to be using that. Okay. And, yes, so we do need the people. So hopefully that will help. Uh, even though we need the people, I'm also going to just add in a little bit more industry because I don't want to lose out on the possibility of getting some more industry in here. That should be under that. Okay. Uh, next thing's next. Uh, we've got this industry over here and there's a rock in the way. A very annoying rock that is preventing anything else from being, being built there. Um, but we're right next to the highway and rather than have everyone kind of drive down here and drive over there to get onto the highway, figured we could probably just do some exit ramps here. Um, I'm thinking maybe... Maybe I'll have this one be the one that kind of comes around. I would actually kind of just like something to to go under the highway. Um, however, I don't have any highway unlocked yet, so we're going to have to use this one-way stuff, and that does not actually this doesn't allow me to go up or down, so we're kind of stuck for choice on that one. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and see if I can't connect me a little bit of a curved ramp. Why can't that one? See, now I've got that, that sharp angled road mod, so I don't understand why that one doesn't work. I'm going to have to back it up a little bit. Not really getting a very nice looking angle when it connects to the the highway. Well, maybe we'll have to do it from here. Which doesn't really make a lot of sense because, you know, the, the highway, uh, well, the, just the, the roads in general, man, that looks really terrible. Would you just cooperate with me a little bit, maybe? Uh, but it would make more sense for it to come in here and then go out that way, I think. Another thing that concerns me is I might not be able to get under there. It might be a little bit too close. Uh, let's actually... We're probably going to have to run a two-lane and then maybe fix it. So, can I... Can I really not do this either? What the hell's going on here? Oh, because it's that, I imagine. Okay. I can. It gets really close, but I can... Well, now it's... What? Come on. Okay, so right there, I could get it. What about underneath? Underneath might be tricky to take out, though. I do want this to be a one-lane highway on-ramp. So for now, we'll just go ahead and place this, and this is going to be a little bit pricey. But uh, it'll just have to be that way. Nope, nope, nope. Can't, there we go. Wow, that's got to go way out there to make that work, though. Surely, surely this can be done without huge expense. That kind of goes right in there. Okay, excellent. 
Uh, and that is a double one-way, yes. Well, hopefully we won't have people crowding to get out of there that way. In fact, that looks like it's way too long, which it is. But uh, So that means we have to have someone coming in. And that is where this comes in. So we will be doing this once I can make it actually properly connect. Now, how do I get the angle so it doesn't look like it's just going maybe a freeform? Would freeform do it? Freeform would allow me to kind of... Okay, you can't snap anymore. Stop that. No, it's still gonna... Well, how about that? That doesn't look too terrible, I guess. Okay, well anyway, so now there is access um, that's going the wrong way, of course. Has to come in. Okay, good. So, right. We're done with that. And now industry can access itself. Let's go ahead and start running the city. And now I want to build some more residential. Probably going to want that right here. Now, the, the big question for me is which way is that going to go? Let's actually make sure I'm watering everybody. Okay. Uh, because this is going to connect over here and connect to this road, this double, no, this, uh, no, this one. <laughs> so let's go ahead and draw this out and see where I'm going to get that. Would you just kind of stay with me here? or I'm trying to go a straight line here. It's not snapping to a straight line for me. I mean, I guess it wouldn't, but... So, let's zoom out a little bit there. Okay. Now, if I draw that straight across... It might look a little bit better there. If I draw that straight across, we're going to create this very bizarre triangle. Can we... My snapping to grid seem well, this one is an odd intersection, so that's probably what's causing it, too. Um, but I do kind of want this to straighten out eventually. The other option is to make it curve kind of with this, but then we're just going to create more problems. Yeah, so let's just continue on with this idea here and make some bizarre... I guess I can just continue on with the, the curve connect that and we'll just continue with these curves up here although that is going to leave an awful lot of space of things that just don't get so maybe we'll have to have little cul-de-sacs of some kind I'd like you to actually so if I was going to make that a like the actual curve it would almost run perpendicular like that. Even though that... Uh, that's a little bit too much. I just want it to have a nice flow is all. Without creating an awful lot of... That's the other problem too. I don't want to create an awful lot of intersections on this. So maybe doing it almost half like this would allow me to then... Ah, right, but see... No. Um because I do want this to actually connect to here, because if this is going to be my one-way road... Was, was that the one-way road? You know what, I'm, I'm thinking maybe I should change that, and just have, because they actually connect to this, maybe have one one way on both sides within a section. I think that might be the best thing. So if that's the case, then I want this to be kind of a one-way connecting from here. I don't want it... I mean... People could fan there, I guess. I'm not even sure I was thinking of having this road connect here now that I try to remember. Uh, I guess we could have kind of a branch off. But the idea was to, to have a road coming in here. Right. So actually, this one is going to bubble in. Let's try and bubble that one in. Because that, well, for now, we'll just keep this. Um... Uh, so it's going to have to shoot up kind of like that to bubble. Nope, going to have to go way severe. Nope. <sighs> to shorter? No. Really long? No. 
Freeform. I guess maybe I just need to bring you back. No. I'm gonna have to bring you up then. Freaking, what the hell? All I want... All I want... Maybe I'm gonna have to go somewhat vertical? That gets really severe, but that's more in line with what, what I want it to do. I think I might just actually have to to make a curve bend in there. Why is this so freaking hard? <laughs> I guess maybe because it's just not meant to be like that. But I just wanted a nice curve. I just want a nice curve to my road. Why do you have to make this so hard? just want a nice little thing that connects into this so we have actual three lanes coming in. Can we do it with you? Not really. I mean, that's the kind of angle that I want. But then we just don't... Then we just don't work. Okay. One more time. One more time. Fuck it. Okay. Um, well, that, I mean, this is kind of where I wanted more residential, but for now, I guess we'll just go along the actual perpendicular road and try to fix things that way. So, I could have it come here, and that would, okay, well, we'll do this one curved to that side, um, and I guess it'll just... That might be a little bit too far. I want it a nice smooth curve. There. Bingo. Now, that intersection is going to be the same problem here. Maybe I want these uncontrolled intersections, because otherwise you've just got stoplight right after stoplight. I think that's going to be problematic. Bring it down. Uh, stop with this, because I would actually like you... See, now everything's loose again. Oh, of course it's loose. Dummy. Maybe that would have maybe that would have helped me up there. Um, and now I'm actually not not maintaining my grid there. That's let's not do that. Um, but we will. What we'll do here is like that, and then right. Ah, oh, shit. I am having one of those days. Okay, and then connect. So we'll have a little bit of a gap, just kind of like we do there. Uh, this could maybe come out and at least utilize that a little bit. A little bit of a roundabout, little, or not a roundabout, circle. <laughs> Cul-de-sac. So very similar, and with that running down, I'm kind of hoping this will, oh my, that is not straight at all. I might have to freeform you just so you don't do that. Well, not freeform, I guess. We'll just have to turn off snapping so we can kind of fake the, f the straightness. And it can, I mean, it's going to curve kind of along the jaggedy shoreline anyway. But uh, there will be a little bit of a gap between the houses. You know, maybe maybe the Snap 2 grid had uh, had it right. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to come in here and make sure I've actually got something somewhat straight. And we're going to try and run this parallel to that. It's going to have to s take off snapping, though. So it, it will kind of grit. Oh my. It will grit out just a little bit. We'll go ahead and delete that. And then we'll pull this back in. Snap. Oh, you gotta go down just a little bit more. Oh, wrong road. 
think that's stupid that that actually caused me upgrade. I should have just deleted it. Got my refund back. Okay. Uh, a little bit weird. But let's put... Oh, first of all. First of all, we need to actually make sure that we're getting our resources out here. Um, put like that. And then... Well, we, I guess we got to come down then. May as well just connect it all the way to this thing. You're going to have to stop that. And that one should work perfectly. Great. Let's get some houses in before we lose all of that demand. Um, should also be able to just put these in here. Uh, electricity? Electricity should jump over there, I, I would think. Maybe. Is that showing that that's actually electrified? Or what is that? No, no, of course not. It's got to actually be touching. Well, the simple solution is to. I don't have. Uh, I don't have this growing. The simple solution is just to bring this in, kind of like. Wow. Kind of like this. I don't think it's going to reach over there, though, is it? The simple solution is not a solution, <laughs> apparently. Damn it. There. Bastards. Well, we'll just keep it there just in case uh, any commercial I put along there decides it needs a helping hand. Speaking of commercial, this makes a nice little triangle there, and I'm not sure what to do with that. Until I can get that road, I mean, that was the whole idea of this, was to create a shortcut to here. Is this, this is another issue, why, oh. Now you're proper. Okay. Commercial and uh, industrial. That's good. Why don't we put in another industrial? Uh, one thing that I've noticed is that the buildings, the random buildings, oh, damn you, the random buildings that... Um, all right, all right, I'm getting to it that pop up because of the the way the industry works um, are actually providing educated and even some well-educated jobs. Uh, it's mostly these factories though that provide them. This one actually, the planks actually provide a lot more educated than uneducated, which is nice. These ones only provide uneducated. Problem is, just in general, that these provide way less than the dirty industry. I mean, you can fit 25 people in some of these buildings, and this one's actually on its way building up. Interesting. What, what does that sound? Sounded like something was burning. Um, I do actually want to check real quick. Okay, that's still getting plenty of coverage over there. So I'm thinking maybe we're going to have to move that... I need one that's going to be over here, and then we'll have to get one that's just a little bit further down and closer to here, because we were getting a lot of burning buildings over there. Uh, police are still... We're going to need coverage of things over on this side for sure. Um, that just can't be helped. So now demand is kind of disappearing. I'm not really sure I want these things on this corner after all. I still have to spend some time beautifying that. Now I do have it's not in that, it's this, this uh, I do have a couple statues here. I looked these up and apparently these statues don't really do anything special aside from allow you to uh, build up. Oh my when did I unlock these? 
uh, they, they build up in, into things like the, the well, I mean, like it says, like the Hadron Collider, the Space Elevator, but you apparently need all of these. And these are like achievable monuments that unlock, meaning that you have to meet a whole bunch of conditions to unlock some things. Well, that would be very nice, putting this down. Works towards the Eden Project. How big is this? It is huge. Well, okay. Um, that might be something that can go in one of these weird off... I mean, maybe here? That's not really a good... I mean, that's not a good use of coverage at all. Um, actually dropping it within a neighborhood would be better. What is this? Just t t Oh. Oh. Oh big. Um, well, that could go on this side, maybe. Or maybe in this weird thing? Although that would be a very obnoxious place to have it. I think a mall should be closer to, like, the actual commercial center. One would think. I mean, it just seems like it would fit there better. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the uh, the different colored lights. Not sure I like that at all. So here's a little spot for some decoration. A million things can can change there. We're not seeing too much. I mean, the mods that I have installed are really, really clamping down on population to the point where we're not seeing any kind of traffic whatsoever. Well, maybe just a little bit there. Um, so it, it's hard for me to judge right now if these are bad intersections. I mean, it does seem like this one in particular would be kind of necessary, seeing how it goes down a residential, not just a residential, but a main residential, seeing how it gets all the way up and into that. Let's have a look at pollution. Uh, so it is almost touching these guys. I would, you know, I'm going to take those out and probably move them over here. Why are these producing pollution? Are these not a part of the... Ah, uh, they are not. They are not. Yeah, they're a little out of place over here. I probably could just go ahead and drag across there. Now, uh, there's another problem with what I just did here, now that I think about it, because I am going to expand this industry over to here. So eventually this is going to have to be taken out and turned into a clover leaf, and then this... I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Unless I have, well, this one can can loop in, and then I'm probably going to have to have one come up and come come down underneath. But could it fit there? I don't know. This is probably going to be a little problem for me, and maybe I'll even just have to take out the highway and replot it so that instead of coming this way, it kind of... I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is that things uh, are actually, they, they look like they're going well. Uh, we're getting quite a large amount of income now. Let's check the power supply, water supply. That's all good. Garbage, uh, landfill use at 4%. Well, I think, it's, I think it's fine. The main thing now is just that because of the mod, there's going to have to be a large, large amount of expansion. And I guess that means I'll just have to buy this, because the easiest way to keep this going is not to come down this way, but actually to go over here. Then again, well, I mean, I, I need to unlock the highway before I go doing this, because if I start planning this out, then we're just going to start plowing through it and deleting things once I get that highway. So I need to reach my population of almost a thousand more people somehow, and, and that's why I say this would be the easiest way, because then we can just do straight up grid and uh, maybe have another, not necessarily a six lane, but maybe another uh, four lane coming down here to kind of run parallel and uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, probably good enough for this episode. We are slowly, 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 where are you all going? Oh. We are slowly making our, 
our way to some progress. So, things are happening, but uh, I think as soon as the road system itself gets kind of laid out and uh, a little bit more solidified, it'll be a lot easier to just start laying things down. Like, for, for when the highway comes out here, you know, I, I want another roundabout off-ramp, on-ramp, and the connection to that is probably going to be kind of another angle where that might angle in this way to meet up with here. I don't know. I would like to do a little bit more of a flowing road thing. The problem with that is that it's just not efficient, and uh, it's a lot harder to actually lay out a city. I, I really think that with the population mod that I've got on, I do need to kind of maximize population. Because if I was still doing the squares, I mean, without that mod, I would have twice as many people. I would have at least 3,000, possibly 4,000 people right now. Um, just because it crams so many into these individual houses. But, you know, if I'd been doing the squares, I'd probably still be like a 1,000. So, uh, I don't think I can do anything really fancy. We're going to probably maintain this grid pattern all the way down. But, uh, anyway, I'll end this one here. I will see you next time.